Ask by Instructor 6.2.8 Regions Between Curves Number 2 Find the area of the shaded region. The shaded region is between y equals 4 sine squared x and y equals cosine squared x divided by 4. The difficult piece of this problem is finding where the graphs intersect. To find the points of intersection, I set the two functions equal to each other. From the graph, it is evident that x is uh, 0 or positive, uh, more likely positive and that we are looking for the first two instances where the functions are equal. Keep that in mind because recall trigonometric functions are periodic so we're going to find an infinite number of um, answers and we really only want the first two um, starting with uh, zero. There are a couple of ways to approach this. I like to use definitions, so just take everything back to its basics. Cosecant squared is uh, 1 over sine x squared. And then uh, just do a little manipulation. And I end up with 1 over 16 equals sine x, all of that to the fourth power. Now I could take the fourth root of both sides, remembering the plus and minus, but I want to show you something that uh, I think makes it a little more interesting and instructive. I'm going to subtract 1 over 16 uh, from both sides, and I'll end up with sine x to the fourth power minus 1 over 16 equals 0. Then I use the difference of two squares and the difference of two squares again. The first factor gives us sine x equals one half, and the second factor gives us sine x equals negative one half. The third factor is prime and would only give us solutions if we extended the discussion. Recall we are looking for the first two values where these two, where we have equality. The but the equality above resulted in two uh, real possibilities. One is sine x equals one half, or sine x equals negative one half. So we're finding the first two values where sine is one half, uh, or sine is equal to negative one half. Remember that we're starting where x is 0 and we're going in the positive direction, which, which means that we are searching for two points moving in a counterclockwise direction starting at 0. So our first instance is at pi over 6. Our next is 5 pi over 6. Our third is 7 pi over 6. And then our fourth is 11 pi over 6. And then, of course, our fifth would be uh, pi over 6 plus 2 pi, and, and so on like that. So I could just go around the circle around and around and around and get an infinite number of values. And that's only talking about the positive values. So I only want the first two. So the first two are pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. And so those are my two points of intersection, x equals pi over 6 and x equals 5 pi over 6. And so I'm looking for the, um, uh, I'm looking for rectangles where the height uh, where, where the height of the rectangle is the difference between 4 sine squared minus and uh, 1 fourth cosine squared. So I'm looking for that difference. That's the height of each rectangle and the width of each rectangle is dx. And then I'm just adding up rectangles from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6. Uh, it appears our troubles are not over yet. This integration is non-trivial. A good memory helps. 
First of all, remembering the double angle formula. This is also called a power reducing formula. I don't know which name you learned it by, but we're going to use that. And also, uh, remembering that the derivative of cotangent x is negative cosecant squared x. So uh, if you know your derivatives, sometimes your antiderivatives become very easy. So we use the double angle formula. And uh, distribute the 4. Um, oh, I'm sorry. We uh, Anyway, we just clean it up. I think you can figure out what, what's going on here. And now we just remember that the um, uh, the derivative of cotangent x is negative cosecant squared x. So the antiderivative of negative cosecant squared x is just cotangent x. And we evaluate it from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6. So uh, plug in the values. And we need to clean up our fractions. It helps to know what sine of 5 pi over 3 is and cotangent of 5 pi over 6 and sine of pi over 3 and cotangent of pi over 6. I found those angles for you so that you could uh, find the ratios more easily. And so this is what I get. And we got one more cleanup to do, and we're all done. Clean it up, and I get 4 pi over 3 plus radical 3 over 2, and that would be square units because we're looking for the area between the two curves. All right, well, have fun with this section, and uh, let me know if you have any other questions. Take care.